Hello, I'm Carolyn Holly, along with Dr. Danes, and I'm excited you're on this journey as we find out more about the Mako Robotic Arm. St. Alphonsus is the only healthcare organization in Southwest Idaho to have this advanced tool. Let's find out more. Thank you, Dr. Danes. Thank you, happy to be here. Thank you. Tell us more about this tool. Sure, so the Mako Robotic Arm is an advanced technology that uh, is really changing the way that we're doing surgery. Uh, hip and knee replacement has been a reliable, excellent surgery that's been around for 30, 40 years with amazing results. We're trying to move those forward, move that needle even better. And what the robotic arm allows us to do is position implants perfectly every time. We get the same result that we intend to. There's uh, minimal user error involved and it's a safety factor for the patient as well. This is a tool that helps us uh, uh, improve our technique, makes us better as surgeons. The MAKO is approved for use in total hip replacement, partial knee replacement, and total knee replacement. We use all three of those here at St. Alphonsus. That's the next step in uh, knee replacement surgery specifically, is getting a perfectly balanced knee every time. That uh, can change outcomes, can improve recovery, can uh, potentially uh, increase the longevity of these implants. Um, which is, which is the goal, is patient outcomes and satisfaction. The robot knows exactly where things are, um, and that helps keep any error uh, to a minimum, and it also protects the soft tissue, the nerves, the ligaments, the blood vessels uh, from any damage from the instrument. The preoperative plan helps us to know exactly where we are in space, and so if I drift even a millimeter outside of my plan, uh, the robot just turns the, the instrument off. So I'm still doing everything by hand, still in control, still looking at everything that I'm doing, but I have a safety check. I have a, uh, a highly precise instrument that just says stop, you're, you're not doing exactly what you thought you were doing, and, and then we correct that and move on. One of the things we've found is that at five years in big data, the standard uh, technique of using um, handheld instruments to put in a partial knee replacement had about a four to five percent revision rate at five years. With the Mako robotic arm, studies are showing a, about a 1 to 1.5 percent revision rate, uh, which is really, really important. That means three or four people out of 100 avoid additional surgery in the first five years after, after their uh, joint replacement. Uh, this is an excellent uh, supplement to an already um, uh, impressive program here at St. Alphonsus. We have enhanced recovery with same-day discharge. Uh, we have most of our patients going home within 24 hours after joint replacement. Um, people are usually returning to driving in two to four weeks after surgery, uh, and it's a life-changing operation. And the Mako robot allows um, us to do that even better. And uh, robotics have been an important part in many of the different uh, subspecialties here at St. Alphonsus, and we're very proud to offer this uh, increased uh, utilization of technology uh, to our patients because we think at the end of the day it's going to help them get back to doing the, the things that they love to do.